How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel and so I've got it's a player review now in today's review. We do have a Jose Iscoeda review. Literally just got an informed card and he has been playing pretty well for Brighton. He scored a goal uh, on Monday night, I think it was Monday day actually I think it was. And uh, he did also miss a great chance as well which could have actually won Brighton the game but did get himself an informed card. Does look really really decent. So I thought I may as well try it out. I've not done a review in a while now guys. If you do enjoy this one you want to see more in the future. Do drop a like on this video down below and do subscribe to the channel as well if you are new and here for more FIFA 18 Ultimate Team content. So we'll jump straight into things and pretty much we picked up Izquierdo for 18,000 coins. Currently going for a bit more than that. He's like 22,000, 23,000 right now. So I've actually made a pretty, uh, I've actually made like a bit of profit on that card, which isn't too bad. Uh, also, uh, he's got. We're going, we're going to the stats on his card, and he is an 82 rated card. So a pretty big upgrade from his base card anyway. He's got 94 pace, which is incredible. Played him as a left forward in a 4-3-2-1 formation, and that 94 pace is insane. Also, as well to match that, he's got 88 dribbling, which is very, very decent as well. 88 shooting is pretty average, really. It's not fantastic. If uh, he could, get, could maybe get another informed card, it'd be like 84, 8, or maybe like 84, 85 shooting. Then it's looking really, really decent for him. 35 defending, not really too bothered about that. 75 passing again, pretty average, not really spectacular. And then 70 physical, which for a guy who's 5'7", isn't terrible really so yeah as i said his height is five foot seven so very low center of gravity and you expect him to be very very good on the ball with a good agility and they uh, just very quick off the mark really so he has got high medium works which are good work rates in my opinion i'm a fan of them work rates uh preferred foot is right then he's only got a three star weak foot which is a bit of a negative there and then four star skill moves his record for me was three games two goals and one assist so an okay returner i suppose he's playing as a left forward so you can't really be expecting to score all the goals but I was relatively disappointed with that return. Now moving on to Izquierdo's in-game stats. He does have some very, very nice ones. The ones that stand out to me is both on his pace. 94 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. Really, really nice there. Just absolutely rapid. 97 acceleration as well is really, really decent with 94 stamina. His strength is actually 71, which isn't terrible to be honest. I, I was expecting it to be a lot lower when I picked up the card. But uh, it's, not, it's not actually that bad really a stat anyway. Also, he's got 90 dribbling as well in there. Just some very, very nice stats overall. Main letdown, in my opinion, is his 30 aggression, and uh, then also as well his uh, finishing, which is only 77. So, not really too great there, in my opinion. So, overall, those stats do look pretty decent. So, anyway, guys, we've got all that on, all that out of the way now. Let's move on to all the in-game clips that I got with Izquierdo. Okay, then, guys, now we're going to all the in-game clips that I got with Jose Izquierdo. These are all the goals, all the assists, and all the good moments with the bad moments in there as well. So, we'll go through how we normally do with the reviews. We'll start off with the positives that I found with his Izquierdo, then we'll go into the negatives, and then at the end we'll say if he's worth it or not, and then give him an overall rating out of 10. So we'll start off with the positives that I found with his Izquierdo. Now the first one has to be his pace, it's a really, really obvious one, but his pace is absolutely amazing. He's so, so quick off the mark, 94 acceleration is just amazing there with his 94 sprint speed as well. Once he gets going, it is difficult to get him off the ball, but the problem is... Once he is on the ball, uh, well, once well, once he's got past the player, if the if the player does actually manage to like come into contact with him, he quite often gets shoved off the ball. His, his strength is 71, which isn't terrible for a guy of his height, but not really good enough. In all these games, I was up against Kyle Walker, and uh, pretty much he struggled with Kyle Walker because Kyle Walker's pretty much matching him for pace rate, maybe a bit slower, but he's got very good pace. Kyle Walker has, but then once his credo kind of kicks the ball past him and gets into contact with him. Kyle Walker would easily shove him off the ball. Same goes for someone like Eric Bailly. He has the pace to pull away from them, but once he comes into contact with him, not really too great. Uh, another, I've, I've gone to another negative that I found with him. His shooting uh, was a big negative, in my opinion. The three-star weak foot is a huge letdown to his card. Uh, he managed to score two goals for me, which is okay, but I thought he could have got a lot more. Left foot is absolutely atrocious. I would not recommend shooting on his left foot. Right foot is okay. Not fantastic, though, but definitely the three-star weak foot and his overall finishing isn't really the greatest. Another one though, another positive that I've got for him is his agility. His agility is amazing. He's so, so quick to turn, which is good. I loved his normal card. I didn't really seem to be as big of a fan of his uh, informed card. Maybe because a lot of people now have much better teams and it kind of is, it's kind of struggling really. He's kind of struggling really with his uh, low strength up against the fast fullbacks. Anyway guys, we have to give his quite a rating out of 10. I would probably give him a 5 out of 10. I found him extremely average at this stage in FIFA when you're going to be coming up against Kyle Walker's a lot a right back and then a lot of other fast and strong right backs i don't really think is quite can compete that well anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if it has helped you out please do drop a like on the video down below do subscribe to the channel as well if you are new and here that'd be greatly appreciated anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one